everyone, it's Nicole, and I'm here to show you some new products that I got in and, um, and how I stored them. So these are the Peerless Watercolor, and they're made, they're on this paper, treated paper, that they can lay watercolors on it. And it's unbelievable how much color is packed in these. So that's where the color is. And then on the back, it kind of gives you a sample of what they are. And this package here is the original. And I believe there's 16 in this one. Just check here. I believe there's 16 in this one. 16 in this one. And then I got um, the Peerless Joanne palette colors, and there's 15 colors in this. And then I bought them directly from Peerless.com, I guess, and uh, PeerlessColor.com. So the bonus pack, instead of a two by two, I still got the right, you know, the big size, so two by six and a half. And then um, there's some that are still full length because, uh, I mean, I'm gonna, I did this really late last night, but I'm going to double check them. But they were in the other packages, so they're sort of extras. So I didn't want to make two little sample, you know, two cards for each one. But I'll still double check today to make sure that they are doubles. But basically what I did was... I had this binder here forever from Martha Stewart that I got at Staples and I had these little uh, page protectors in there and uh, anyway I had plans for uh, my die cuts like my dies and they flop all over the place and I totally don't like it so really I haven't been using it so what I decided to do was I watched a lot of videos on how people keep them and all this stuff and, and this is the route I decided to go. I cut a piece of just, you know, cardstock that I wasn't using. I think it, the company Scrapbook Sally, which was a Canadian company, I don't even know if they still run anymore. Um, but anyway, I cut this to fit the page protector. So it's five and three quarters by eight and seven eight. And then I took my Tombow Mono Multi Glue and I just made some squigglies. So now it's sticky. Okay. Now I made a whole bunch of these and I have a whole bunch of paint protectors. And basically, the way it's going to sit in here, and I'll cut a little further um, and add a video or part of the video to kind of show you what it looks like when it's all done. So this is going to, a page protector is going to sit in between the colors. So when they're wet, they won't touch each other. So then I cut a piece of watercolor paper at one and a half by four. And then now this just sits like this and I can take it off. So I just cut in with the film there or showed you. And then the reason I made this four is the color is very different than what is like what it actually colors sometimes like this one is like almost bang on but um, most of the time it's a weird color and it'll let me try to find one See, this is tea rose pink and it's kind of got reds and greens and so you really need a sample to kind of show you how this water watercolor is going to end up so what i'm going to do now i have them all cut up i cut an inch from each of the water of the peerless so basically now i know i'm just going to use this little piece until it's totally gone and then the rest of it is safe. I kept them in the in the packaging, and I wrote the colors on each of them. So if I need to find you know it again, so that I can cut it apart, and I made sure that I cut on 
the part that was opposite the name. That way I was going to keep the name for as long as I could. And um, so basically there's a whole, you know, sheet left still. So now I'm going to go and pull some colors for each of these little cards. And then I'll put them in my book in a rainbow, a, you know, rainbow assortment way. So like I said, once it's all done, I'll just do a little clip on how it looks. So I just thought I would share that with you. Thanks for watching. Bye. Okay, I'm back to show you how it looks. All done up. Now I have all my watercolor right in this little binder. One little note um, that I noticed. If you get the bonus pack, which is 40 colors, you do not need to get the Joanne palette colors because all the colors that are in here are in this, which I didn't realize till I start putting them together. So really, if you get the bonus pack and the complete edition, then you're good. You don't need to get that unless you just want to try them out. And these are pretty awesome colors. I, I like them, but they are in the bonus pack. Okay, so this is how it looks. So basically you have a sheet of color and then you have um, a page protector and I went in the color of the rainbow and the reason that there's a sheet protector in between is once like when you use them if it's wet it's not going to contaminate the colors underneath. So I have red to pinks to orange to yellows. And then I just kind of stopped the yellows there and then I started with the greens and then into the blues and into the purples and then I had one extra of um, like earth tones so I had no choice but to put it there because I was out of page protectors so really the last one doesn't have a page protector so I mean I'll, I'll just live with it but um, I wish I had a page protector for here. So I'm, if I go to Staples, I might get another package of um, page protectors so I can put one here. But that's it. I'll probably do like a little cover thing that says, you know, Peerless uh, Watercolors on here. And that's it. I really like it. Now I can just, I can use it directly on here. And, or if I find this is too bulky, I can just remove the colors that I want because they come off and then when I'm done I just and don't push hard the reason that they're stuck on is because I had to flip them over and put the um, what I use to glue the cardstock onto the transparencies is score tape so I had to put the score tape on the back and had to push down hard and they were already on there so but it still comes off just it pulls off a little bit of paper but you can just pull that right off the glue and then just tap it on and it stays on so I hope this was helpful so thanks for watching bye